Now let's read the last statement of the question. Which of the following findings is most likely to be present in this patient? So we have to find out the striking feature of this particular disease. So if we read the question, there are 20 year old woman on no medications developed rigidity, tremor and incoordination. She has a history of unexplained hepatitis two years ago and depression one year ago. The examination revealed increased tone, normal muscle strength and coarse tremor of the hand. An ophthalmologic examination is positive for brownish pigment ring at the corneal margin. Which of the following findings is most likely to be present in this patient? So if we try to diagnose this particular condition, so since the arrow is made here and you are seeing a brownish pigment at the margin of the upper, upper eye actually, okay, here only. So this is going to be a sign, a very famous, famous sign that is known as carry care feature sign kf sign okay now this care feature sign is generally seen associated with the wilson's disease so before i uh, get into depth of this particular question i'll be explaining or giving you a brief review about the wilson's disease so wilson disease is something that is related to the decreased coma right now if i just write wilson disease and before that I should talk about the copper. So the normal copper level in the body is around 50 to 100 milligram and daily consumption of the copper should be around 2 to 5 milligram. Okay. Now if I just tell you in Wilson's disease absorption of copper from gut is absolutely normal. Yes, the copper which comes inside the gut it easily absorbed into the portal system or into the liver and then it will be attached to a protein called ceruloplasmin which goes to goes to the tissues now the catch here is there is no deficiency in the absorption of the copper there is no problem in the absorption of the copper but there is a problem in the levels the serum levels of this particular protein that is ceruloplasmin which generally attaches copper so in wilson's Absorption of copper from gut is absolutely normal, but the ceruloplasmin levels are reduced in Wilson's disease. So, what is reducing here? The ceruloplasmin levels. Now, what are the other conditions in which you won't be seeing these ceruloplasmin levels? One is going to be your alcoholic cirrhosis. Then, a very famous that is your nephrotic syndrome. Then you have your partial car. So from the here, we can infer that uh, either the proteins are getting lost from the body, like in nephrotic syndrome, or there is protein malnutrition that is quashior car. And that's why you are not getting enough ceruloplasmin level inside the plasma, and that is the reason you are not getting proper copper. Okay. Now what happens if the copper is being uh, deficient for like 10 to 15 years, okay, if the 10 to 12 years, if the copper is deficient, so what happens, there becomes a brownish pigmentation on the upper side of the eye, okay, upper margin of the eye, there will be a development uh, or we can say there is a ring that develops in the upper part of the cornea between 10 to 12 years and then it will come to the lower side as well okay and that will be developing here as well and that is around 20, 12 to 15 years of age and these sign this particular sign is known as care fisher sign or kf ring okay that is an important sign of this particular disease and this particular kf ring is examined by slit lamp and you will be seeing actually the desment membrane that is giving that particular desment membrane that is basically involved in this Wilson disease. So, if I say that the KF ring is seen in a patient along with CNS features, so in 98% of the cases, the diagnosis is going to be your Wilson's disease. Okay, so these two features, if uh, seen as features along with the KF ring is seen, diagnosis is most probably your 
Wilson's disease. Now there is something that is known as the azure lacunae, azure, I will write it better, azure lanulae and these are nothing but the bluish hue or bluish pigmentation of the nails. If you see nails here, these will be looking bluish and that is a sign in Wilson's disease. Also, this particular azure lanulae can also be seen in silver toxicity. Okay, silver toxicity is another example, but it is also seen in Wilson's disease. Then you will be having the hemolytic episodes in the in this particular disease. So these are certain things which we have to remember about the Wilson's disease. Now, uh, if uh, one thing, if I just uh, try to explain here, so uh, there are certain organs which are involved in Wilson disease. So first of all, liver. Liver generally shows cirrhosis and that is going to be the main or most common cause, okay, most common finding in the liver in the Wilson disease that is going to be cirrhosis. If we talk about the RBC, there will be hemolysis. If we talk about the basal ganglia, so the basal ganglia, there will be tremors in which we call that the uh, what are uh, CNS is involved, right? Then if you talk about the nails, we will be having azure, ranulae, then coming to the kidney, you will see the Fanconi syndrome and if you talk about the eye, we have our KF ring, okay? So these are various features. Now, if we try to find out the best or the most likely feature here, so if you talk about the renal failure, the renal most likely you will see the Fanconi syndrome. If you talk about the fatty liver, here you will be seeing the liver, cirrhosis will be the most common finding. So these two cannot be the answer. Then elevated ceruloplasmin. So we have just talked about the pathophysiology of the Wilson's disease in which the ceruloplasmin levels are low and that's why you do not get enough attachment of the copper in that okay so this is also not going to be the answer so if you see here increased plasma copper now this is going to be uh, important here because absorption is not compromised in this particular case only after it is absorbed in the blood right it goes to liver and from there the ceruloplasmin will be taking this particular thing and then it will be transporting to tissue now if ceruloplasmin is less so most of the copper copper will be remaining in the blood itself and that's why you will be seeing the increased plasma levels of the copper so answer to this question is going to be your fourth option that is increased plasma copper